Hey folks, it's sunny, it's hot across the valley again today. No changes from last week or the weekend, and we don't see many changes looking ahead. It's kind of a what you see is what you get, although readings may come down just a little bit, but not dramatically. So still 100 plus along in the west of I-69C, Rio Grande City at 103. East of that temperatures are back in the 90s, 95 in Port Isabel. Checked on the island there. 84 right now. Low temperatures tonight are going to be in the upper 70s and low 80s once again across the region. Dew points will be up again, so it will be humid. And then tomorrow, back about where we were today, 100 to 104 across most of the valley. A little cooler in Raymond until 99, 88 at the beach and 97 for your high temperature in Brownsville tomorrow. After that, I do see again a little bit of a step down in temperatures, but it's not much. We go 101 199. So those will be below the records. Here at our studios today, by the way, we did get to 99, and that tied the record for the date. Satellite shows some of those high clouds streaming across again today, coming from some storms way off to the west of Mexico yesterday. We were tracking those then. Clear skies this evening. Overnight, we just don't see much. Patchy clouds show up, but they disappear in a hurry. So tomorrow, partly to mostly sunny again. Thursday, same kind of thing. Maybe a few patchy clouds in the morning, but not much. And sunshine takes over again, and temperatures warm up. And we're dry Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and beyond that as well. Rest of Texas, it's a little warm. You get up to Abilene, it's 100. So is Austin, 106 in Del Rio. Laredo there as well. Odessa's 101. El Paso's 102. So it's a scorcher of a day across all of the state as that big ridge kind of builds back in once again. Our clouds coming from some storms that fired up way off to the west yesterday. So we may see that again early tomorrow, with some of those high clouds streaming across. But the ridge basically just digging in, just not moving. So the pattern is just the same. It's not changing anytime soon. The longer range models do suggest, as we talked yesterday, that a little bit of moisture could get caught up in a northeasterly flow by the weekend and trigger maybe an isolated shower on the sea breeze in maybe one location over the weekend, but something brief and out of here just as quickly as it forms. So we're keeping the forecast dry, at least for the moment. The Gulf is quiet, the Caribbean's quiet, the Atlantic quiet as well. Pacific starting to light up. We'll talk more about that coming up at 6 o'clock. Across Texas, traveling tomorrow, temperatures start the day in the 70s. By afternoon, most of the state in the 90s, some places like Midland, over 100 again. So tonight, mainly clear, warm and humid, low 79. Tomorrow back up to 101, plenty of sunshine, hot, humid again. Southeast winds about 12 to 25. So here we go, the next seven days. We do bring numbers back down into the upper 90s by the time we get to the weekend. Uh, drop of two or three degrees. It might make a little bit of a difference, not much, but a little bit. That is your updated First One Five forecast.